Arcadia Distribution Boards is an industry module of Arcadia, which allows you to create a professionally designed electrical diagram. Distribution boards, which are designed earlier in electrical installations. This is why we will first open a project from the samples, where we have just completed a project in electrical installations. There are, of course, in this project some basic components such as sockets and lighting fixtures which are correctly addressed so that we distribution board will have all the information in it. We click on the distribution board. We have the window open and in it we click Generate Distribution Board Diagram. The program automatically opens a new file in which the diagram template is generated and the circuits are specified from the distribution board, which we had in the project. I will turn off the grid and we will begin to design the distribution board. First, we enter the properties of the power bus bar. Here we can assign the basic parameters, such as rated current, or, of course, the dimensions of the elements. OK. We can also enter the object properties of the distribution board diagram. In the properties, we have the contents of the diagram table. We can remove those elements which are used, but we will leave ourselves all the possible ones which are available, and we can enter the properties of the distribution board. Here, we can check the circuit's properties. Here's the power circuit. We here have the rest of the outlet circuits. We can enter the properties of the circuits and we can change the coincidence factor. We can, of course, change all the parameters that are available in the circuits properties. Next, we click OK, OK, OK. Next, I will show that the distribution board diagram column size can be increased and reduced so that it is more legible. I will first insert the breaker switch. I will go to the properties. Here in the appearance we can see what the breaker switch looks like. What are its parameters? We have all the available ones. We can go to the library and choose one. I will choose the default one. In addition, I will add auxiliary contacts, one of each. OK. And I insert the diagram. The next element I want to insert is the signalization. We have to choose in the properties the type of signalization, a lamp, and insert it into our diagram. And we have also to uncheck the Connect Automatically checkbox. Thanks to this, I will be able to insert a signalization lamp 
next to the main circuit. Now I will connect everything with the electric connection. We also have item detection. I will also turn on Orto. It will make it easier. We will connect them. I will repeat the command and again with the right button I repeat the command and connect to the power bus bar. The next element will be the introduction of a whole new protection column. After highlighting the diagram, we have the Add Column button. Click it. I want this to be the first column. I now show the direction. And an additional column has been inserted. After highlighting the diagram and entering the properties of the distribution board, I will change the name of the second column to protection. The values appearing in the table have also changed. There are definitely less of them than in other circuits. OK. And here we can insert a breaker switch. But we can still add here in the protection a surge arrestor. I am only showing what parameters can be changed. OK. And we insert a surge arrestor. In the outlet circuits, we will insert a breaker switch, but without auxiliary contacts. OK. We can, of course, choose a specific one from the library. I will choose for the circuits with sockets B16. I entered into the search box. The program narrowed down the possibilities to those specific B16, the nearest one, and all those which are most likely circuits of sockets will insert everywhere where the cable cross section is 2.5 mm squared. And once again a breaker switch, this time I'll choose B10 for the rest of the circuits, mainly the lighting circuits where the cross section is 1.5 mm squared. We have the elements inserted. Now we can also insert the materials list. In the list we can see all the elements which we have in the view of the diagram.
The next step will be the generation of the realistic view of the switchboard. To do so, I click on the exterior wall view icon. Next, I go to the view properties. Here, we do not change anything. OK. I insert this view and this casing window appears. In the casing window, we can assign all the parameters, the correct properties, we can change the width, height, the spacing between rows, let's make it 15, and make 4 rows. Columns and windows and modules can remain. And here you can see we have the view of the casing generated. We can also mark and insert the distribution block. So here we can still modify the distribution board. I will now switch on the 3D view so we can see what it looks like. When we have the real view of the board, we can go deeper into each element. Thank you for your attention.